This is Jupiter Today for the 6th of February, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant 3 near its western elongation. Europa starts the day in quadrant 1 heading east. Ganymede is behind Jupiter and is going to be moving into quadrant 1 heading east. And Callisto spends all day in quadrant 2 heading west. At 6 hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant 4 heading east. And at 8.59 UTC, EO goes through its Abajove at a distance to Jupiter of 423,535.1 kilometers. At 12 hours UTC, EO is moving behind Jupiter, going to be moving into quadrant 1 heading east. Europa is still in quadrant 1 heading east, but getting near its eastern elongation. By 18 hours UTC, EO is firmly in quadrant 1, still heading east. And now Europa is firmly in quadrant 2, heading west. And by 0 hours UTC tomorrow, EO has passed its eastern elongation and is now also in quadrant 2, heading west. So we have three moons in quadrant 2, heading west, and Ganymede continues in quadrant 1, heading east. Orbital ribbons today. So these are the same orbits as you just saw Europa and Eo and Ganymede and Callisto. And that's all I've done is just connect with a red line the, the, the same times. And it makes for interesting patterns. So here's the connection between Eo and Europa, and Eo and Ganymede, and Eo and Callisto. There's a nice twist in that one. And then Europa and Ganymede. Europa and Callisto. It's a nice, almost a sheet. And finally the connection between Ganymede and Callisto and putting them all together and colorizing them a little bit makes for interesting patterns and shapes and there are three Jupiter satellite events today first is at 2.56 when Ganymede reappears from behind Jupiter and then at 11.11 UTC, EO moves into the shadow of Jupiter. And at 13.31, EO reappears from behind Jupiter. And there's one satellite mutual event today. And this goes from 18.58 to 19.05 UTC, when Europa occults Ganymede. This is a 7.3 minute event with a very shallow estimated magnitude flux drop of 0 0.053 magnitudes, but this event is a nice distance away from Jupiter, 185.01 arc seconds. And this map of the Earth shows the visibility of this event, and it looks like all of Asia and a lot of Europe, some of Australia, and some of Africa will be able to see this event. Okay, 24 hours of Jupiter sky. You and Europa and Ganymede. and Callisto.
can only imagine what that actually looks like, having all four of those moons, plus many of the smaller moons in the same sky. There goes Europa going in front of Ganymede, or Eo going in front of Ganymede. Looks like Europa is going to move in front of Callisto there. And the red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian three times today, the first at 2.31, the second at 12.27, and the third at 22.23 UTC. There were some new images posted. Interesting blue color there. Can see that later on too. There was no new radio data and no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on the celestial sphere is a right ascension of nine hours, 21 minutes, four seconds and a declination of positive 16 degrees, 29 minutes, 51.2 seconds. The angular separation from the Sun today is 178.7 degrees, and that's 0.937 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The phase angle is 0.239 degrees, and that's 0.173 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The distance between Earth and Jupiter is pretty much as close as it's going to get. We're going to be passing through opposition today. The distance at zero hours UTC is 650,184,461 kilometers, and that's 37,604 kilometers less than what it was yesterday. That gives a relative velocity between Jupiter and Earth of 1,566.83 kilometers per hour. And that's 1,971.96 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth is 797,654,704 kilometers. And that's 46,367 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a relative velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,931.96 kilometers per hour, and that's 2.25 kilometers per hour greater than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 346.1 degrees, CM2, 6.9 degrees, CM3, 275.23 degrees. The time of this recording is 1.13 UTC, on the 6th of February 2015. So please subscribe and thank you for subscribing. Make sure to tell everyone you know who may be interested in this to watch and subscribe. Always like to hear your comments and suggestions for making this ever better. You can send your comments and questions and images to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.